On a sunny afternoon in Raleigh, North Carolina, Hillary Clinton joined hands with African-American mothers who lost sons and daughters to police violence. Clinton zeroed in on the use of force by police, a hot button topic among African-Americans whose votes she badly needs here. I want to work with all of you and particularly with people like the mothers of the movement to reform our criminal justice system so that it works fairly for everyone. <laughs> you see, I, I believe that America is safer. Our homes and our neighborhoods are safer when everyone respects the police and the police respect everyone. North Carolina, a traditionally conservative state, is a bitter battleground for Clinton and Republican rival Donald Trump, who was in the state two days ago castigating Clinton and President Obama. We have a bunch of babies running our country, folks. We have a bunch of losers. They're losers. They're babies. North Carolina is a state with a dual personality. The rural areas are more conservative and vote Republican. The cities are liberal and vote Democratic. Barack Obama won the state in 2008 by mobilizing black voters, although he did lose here in 2012. But by mobilizing those voters, that was key for Hillary Clinton. She is now focusing on that electorate as well and encouraging them to vote and vote early. Getting voters to the polls before Election Day is part of that strategy. Early voting began in North Carolina three days ago. Over the weekend, voters waited up to two hours at some polling places to cast ballots. It's important to do, and I'm tired of thinking about it every day when I see all the commercials on TV. And just, I just want to go ahead and do it. And I just feel that it's important for everybody that has the right to vote, just vote. Hey, yes, are you Stefania? Yes. The tight race has put Clinton's North Carolina organization into overdrive. Volunteers are hitting the streets, banging on doors, and urging Democrats to vote before November 8th. Most people I've talked to today and people coming back are happy to tell us they've already voted. They're very excited about getting this election on and over. It's been quite contentious. Trump heads back to North Carolina later this week, trying to erase a very thin lead that Clinton is not taking for granted. Diane Estabrook, Al Jazeera, Raleigh, North Carolina.